everyone. Welcome to Tuesday Tips. And so I am going to show you um, this new product. So in, let's see here, in the current mini catalog on page 70, we have our blending brushes. They are, they're $12 for three of them. So they just come in a pack like this. I want to just show you them. They're just, they're neat. They're just like a little like a little brush they're not like a sponge and so when you blend with them they blend so neat and I'm gonna give you some tips how to use them okay so I am going to be using the true love designer paper so this is black and white paper I'll just show you it a little bit it's just got some really neat designs and using this technique, you can do so many neat things with it. Okay, so it's just neat papers. So, and this is also in this catalog. And I'm just going to show you something. I don't know if you've seen it before, but if you go right to the back, you can see, like, here's all the punches that are in the book. The embossing folders. Here are the blending brushes, ribbons, embellishments card kits and then it'll show you all the dies here's some specialty papers here's all the designer papers and right here is our true love and that is on page 11 all our stamp sets this is such a neat addition to our books makes it so easy so you don't have to go through the whole book when you're looking for something you can just go to the back and like I said that is in the back of the catalog okay so when you use the blending brushes, I always just take a scrap paper and let's see. here we go so you can see this a little bit better. So I'm just going to take a scrap paper and any color that I want to use and I kind of just dab on there first, kind of get it started and I'm blending off here to see how dark it is and light and then I can just go on there. And it kind of gets like that first blob will be on your on your scratch paper and won't be on your your paper that you're blending with. See, so it's always a blob at first. It's your dark images, and then you can just and I just blend and then just and I always go in circles. And so isn't that just so neat? Now, if you wanted to, you could take and if you blend on there. And you could just get a flower. So you could just get your just your flowers and just go over that. So you're just blending your flower images. So you could just color like that too. These are just so awesome. Oh my gosh, I just love how easy it is to blend with them. Look at that. I see here we already have all of it in there. And I can take another color joy. And like I said, you can use any colors. My pad must be a little dry. I've used it. It's not as juicy as quite as the other ones. See, so and you can just. And what works best is like you kind of dab and then you roll and then you just go right onto your paper. Just kind of work, start working on your scratch paper and then just roll right onto your designer paper. Isn't that like so cool? These are awesome. Like I said, I just love them. So it just kind of gets to the tips. Like I said, here's some different colors. You can make them as dark or light as you want. And here is a card that I made. So, like I guess it just kind of blended the color in. But this is your Tuesday tips, and you are going to love these new blending brushes. Oh my gosh, they're just amazing. Look at how smooth. There's no starting and stopping lines. Like I said, starting on the scratch paper, kind of dab, scratch on, on the scratch paper, and then just roll, and then roll right onto your paper. Hope you enjoyed the tips for today. And remember, um, 
be sure and check out my other videos that I have for um, different tips. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.